the prayer, the most important thing for a Muslim to do. The action that if a Muslim does five times a day will differentiate them and distinguish them from the disbelievers, as the hadith states. We're going to kind of think about the spiritual implications, the inner dimensions of the prayer. So let's go through the Islamic prayer bit by bit. When you start the prayer, you say Allahu Akbar and you put your hands up. Allahu Akbar means Allah is the greatest. So as you're doing that, you imagine that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching you. You imagine that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with you and that he can hear what you're saying. And then you start the prayer and you say, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Rahman, Rahim. And you mention Surah Al-Fatiha, saying that all praise and thanks be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Lord of the worlds, the most gracious, the most merciful, master of the day of judgment. You alone we worship and you alone we ask for help. Guide us to the straight path, the path of those who you have favored, not the path of those who have earned your anger, nor of those who have gone astray. Now you're thinking about this and you're in the present moment. You're not thinking about what's going to happen later on, about the bills, about this, about that, about these anxieties that you have, about your relationships, about business. You're not thinking about all these things. You're literally praying and thinking that this is all that there is. This is all that there is. There's nothing else going on at the moment. In fact, the future doesn't exist. This is how to get khushua in the prayer. There's no future. Only this conversation that you're having with Allah, the Creator, the Lord of the heavens and the earth at this point in time. The future doesn't exist. You're in a state of hudur. You're present with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that means that there is no future. Everything is just about that moment. You're clear in your mind. And then you're doing your other surah. Maybe qulhullahu ahad. And then you're saying Allahu Akbar. And you're going down to the bank position. And you're humbling yourself. You're calm. And then you say, Subhana Rabbil Azim. And that means, glory be to the one who is. Azim means mighty. And you're in that humble, bowing positioning. And then you come back up. Sami Allahu liman hamida. That Allah has heard the one who has praised him. And then you say, Rabbana wa lakal hamd. Our Lord, to you belongs praise. That's what Rabbana wa lakal hamd means. And then now you go down and you say, Subhana Rabbil A'la. And you are prostrating. The highest part of your head is in the most low part of the ground. And you're saying, glory be to the one who is most high. You're saying that three times. Subhan Rabbi Al-A'la. This is a very deep situation right now. And you're thinking about that and you're humble. This is a very relaxing position. This is a very peaceful position. This is the most peaceful position you can imagine. This is the best situation. There's nothing more important than that position in the entire day. There's nothing more important than that position in your entire life, in fact. So you're in that position. This is why you were created. This is the purpose of life. This is everything you need to know. This is everything you need to do. There's nothing more to life than this. And then you come back up. Rabbi khfili, Rabbi khfili, you say, Oh Allah, forgive me, Allah, forgive me. Because we've done lots of sins. So we're being a bit accountable here and you go back down. After you've asked Allah, the King, to forgive you, you go back down, subhanahu rabbi ala subhanahu rabbi ala again. And that's one unit of prayer. And you repeat that, and so on. If you get this right, you get halawat of iman. You get the sweetness of faith. Because we have five prayers a day. This is a really beautiful meditation kind of exercise. Not the kind of meditation that these mushriks do, and the ones who worship other than God. No, you're worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's nothing greater that you can do as a human being, you know that. There's nothing better you can do with your time. There's no money that you can amass. There is no fame that you can get. There's no adornments that you can put on. There's nothing. This is peace. This is Allah bi dhikrillahi al This is surely with the remembrance of Allah do hearts find rest.